After priming and setting the eyes, begin by applying a matte yellow orange shade above the crease. This is our transition shade. You can find my product list in the description box. Next, I'm placing a matte brick orange into the crease and blending that into the transition. Deepen the outer corner and crease with a matte cranberry. Blend with a clean, fluffy brush. Optionally, you can use a white sticky base to increase the pigmentation of the next shade. Pack a metallic coppery sienna shade onto the lid. I like to use my finger, but you can also use a wet brush. Go back in with the cranberry to deepen the outer V and crease. Clean up any fallout and apply your usual facial routine. Sweep the matte orange all along the lower lash line. Concentrating right at the base of your lashes, deepen the outer third of the lash line with the cranberry. Be sure to connect everything to the upper lash line. Blend one last time. Highlight the brow bone with a shimmery champagne and the inner corner with a metallic gold. Begin your wing by following the angle of your lower lash line. Starting not quite at the tip to keep the point nice and sharp, connect the wing to the upper lash line. Beginning in the inner corner, draw a thin line along the base of your lashes. Finish connecting the wing to the upper lash line, slowly thickening the line as you go. The goal for most eye shapes is to create a straight line when the eye is looking down. Finish off the look with some mascara and you're done. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. You can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter where I post sneak peeks and updates. Thanks for watching!